Oh. <clears throat> Good evening! Uh, or is it morning? I lose track of the time here at uh, Horror Hotel because the same candle is burning night and day, year after year. So, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, of course, if you're here again, it must be time once more for another installment of Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady. I'm Delbert Culpepper, and uh, today's mask is a follow-up to a mask seen in a previous episode. I don't know if you're watching these in order or out of order, but uh, you're out of order if you're not watching them in order. Because last week we talked about the male apparition from Horror Dome, so it only follows logically, but we're going to do it anyway, that we should this week be talking about the matching female apparition, also from Horror Dome, coincidentally. Now the female apparition sells for about the same price as the male apparition that we discussed here in another uh, episode. And as I have divulged in those previous, previous utterances, that cost was around $85, I do believe, or $90. And I think it's worth it. That's a little on the high side for uh, a, a non-movie character. But, but, I recommend it anyway because look what a generous uh, neck bib and, and uh, you know how much more than just the head you're getting here yeah, and you get the hair you get the excellent paint job you get uh, glued in uh, mesh uh, fabric in the eye holes in the manner of the screen masks and you get take the stuffing out of her here just so you can see Maybe some uh, got some bags in there you get a chunk of foam glued into the top of the head to make it fit a little better and sit a little better either on uh, the head of the dummy that you've got it on, or yourself if you're wearing it as part of a costume. Now, if you're wearing it as part of a costume, I think the female apparition should probably be wearing an old-timey, old-fashioned style uh, white or blue, like her pale white, pale blue, uh, blue-gray uh, dress or gown or something, uh, sort of period-looking, rather than uh, contemporaneous to today's styles and fashions. I think she's she's very uh, old school. Now her hair is very thin. I might have liked to have seen more hair on there, but I get it that they wanted her to look very dead. Now she's not so much a zombie as she is a ghost, hence the name apparition, which is another word for ghost. The detailing on this thing is tremendous. The sculpture is very, very ultra detailed, mega detailed, lots and lots of texture, and all of the anatomy has been very well thought out and very carefully planned and designed, uh, very realistically, very naturally, so like the anatomy on her. Uh, as I mentioned, she does have the mesh in the eyes, so uh, when you're wearing it, it just looks like it does right here on uh, this uh, video production, because you don't see uh, the wearer's eyes when, when somebody's wearing it, you see? And I didn't do anything to the teeth here. It actually looked this nice straight from the company, straight from Horror Dome, with a nice gloss finish and a good ghoulish, nasty look to her teeth. And she is smiling, um, and he's not. The male apparition looks decidedly unhappy, possibly because his mate is the female apparition. I'm not sure why he looks so unhappy. That might have something to do with it. But she is clearly enjoying herself, which makes her kind of a unique character among Halloween masks of dead people. She's clearly having a good time being scary and ugly and horrible. And that kind of makes her a fun one to wear uh, and, and jump out at people in the haunted house. Or, or uh, just to have, like, outside a window, or, or that is inside a window, maybe, uh, peeking at people because she has this, this kind of sinister look like she's up to something. The smile sort of makes her look rather like she knows something, you know. So, uh, big recommendation from me for the, uh, the female apparition mask from the Horror Dome. And that's all I have to say. If what? Oh, she thinks I should end on a joke. Well, I don't, I don't have a joke prepared for, for the... Do you, do you know, do you know a, zomb a zombie joke? Okay, you know, tell me. Okay. Two zombies walked into a bar. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Two zombies walked into a bar, and the first zombie says, <laughs> because it was Dr. Tongue from Day of the Dead, and he hasn't got any lower jaw, so he can't talk. 
That's all you've got? No. Apparently that's as much of the joke as she has uh, written. So, okay, what if we let them... You guys finish it. You guys write the rest of that joke. I don't know what you were thinking of. You know, it just... You need to have a punchline for these things.